Today, we'll be talking about the top 5 must-have units for new players that are just starting the game. So, I've compiled a list of 5 units that is basically the hottest units to have right now without really going too in-depth and it should be your best priority to go for starting out this game or maybe you took a break and you're coming back with update 2 or whatever. But anyway, so um, I've already equipped the units. These are the units that we are going to be checking out but i'm gonna be jumping in an infinite real quick first we can actually get some money so we can talk a little bit about each and every single one of them individually so i'll see you guys in a little bit when we have uh, a whole bunch of cash acquired one eternity later all right guys welcome back so the list here that i'm gonna present you is not really in a particular order except i guess the first unit so first things first guys you probably might have heard that Suguna is probably the number one unit in the game. So the first things first, you really want to go for uh, Sukuna and slowly work on evolving him through completing challenges. I believe you need 12 Curse Fingers in order to evolve him, which uh, will take you a while, to be honest. It is a 22.5% drop chance for each and every single finger, so it will take some time. But Sukuna Evo is the best unit in the game. Now, in particular, you want Avatar, but even if you don't really have Avatar, Sukuna is a great, great, great unit. It has insane DPS. It has Dismantle, which is uh, a damage over time effect that only he has in the game currently. Nobody else really has Dismantle. And he does have this uh, activatable ability of uh, Flame Arrow. Now, unfortunately, the cutscene didn't really play because uh, he killed everything. If there's no enemies in range, he will not cast the Flame Arrow. But yeah, Sukuna is by far the number one unit to go for. So I guess we could just take them all in order uh, with the equipped units. Next up, we have Boa. So Boa is a new unit from this update that we just uh, had, the portless update. She is a great support unit. She's a meta support unit and she's a great starter. So as you can see, Boa has only 600 placement cost, which is exactly perfect because you start with 600 cash. She has decent range for a unit that's like just level one, just starts out. And as you can see, her range is pretty much infinite. Now I know that we have all seeing on here, but even without, she does have absurd amounts of range and she does have that stun. So she's one of the best units to start out. Support units are very, very important. And that's one of the reasons why people really fail in portals and then they like cry that portals are very hard. Uh, the reason is that they just like don't really know how to play. They don't use supports. So having a starter that has decent damage to start out while providing stuns, and look at this, like this circle UE is huge, right? is really really good so i would highly advise to just do the portals to get here next up we are gonna be having alpero alpero aka angel from uh overlord i believe she is from uh so this unit is a bleed unit and she is really great she is the third highest dps unit in the game sukuna is the first avatar sukuna Guts with Avatar is the, the second best DPS unit and the third best is going to be Angel. Now, you might be asking me why am I not suggesting Guts? Because Guts is another bleed unit and he does more damage. The reason is quite simple. Guts is only better if he has Avatar. If he doesn't have Avatar, Angel is better because Angel is a three placement unit as opposed to a two placement, which is Guts. And furthermore, on top of that, guys, Angel does something that Guts simply does not do. Um, I know that she's a cone unit, although she has an extremely wide cone, instead of like a full AoE that uh, Guts is. But as you can see on her last upgrade, she's actually a hybrid unit, which is something that Guts doesn't have. So she's honestly just great. And she's from portals as well, relatively easy to get, not really that hard. So yeah, you should definitely go for uh, Angel. Like, all these portal units are actually meta AF. Next up, we do have Minato. This is Thor's code unit. Now, this particular Minato is evolved, so his stats are getting a little bit higher. But as you can see, only at 300 placement cost, that means that you can straight up just go ahead and drop three of them as soon as the game starts. 2.78k base damage, and I actually don't have Devastation Mastery. I think I need like 400 more kills to get Devastation Mastery, the last upgrade in the tree, which will provide a 65% damage increase on top of this. So he's a great starter unit, and I did a showcase on him specifically. He's meta for both story and infinite for different reasons. So he's a very cheap unit. And as you can see, like when he hits this upgrade, upgrade six, which costs 40K in total, he really spikes up his damage and 40K is really not a lot. And on top of that for infinite, like he does have his fear on last upgrade, see so this passive. Fear stuns the enemy five times in the span of a second. So it's like 
five consecutive mini stuns. And on top of that, he provides a 10% damage increase to all the units that he attacks for 20 seconds. So that's the reason why he's meta. Another great unit to have in your inventory it should definitely work on his Evo. It is a little bit more troublesome as an Evo. It takes some time considering you have to go to Desert Village Act 6 to get 10 of Thor's headbands and 10 of uh, Thor's cloaks. And on top of that, you have to do challenges to get 25 crystal shards. So it might take you some time to actually farm all those materials. But yeah, uh, insane unit, definitely worth the grind. Meta unit for both story different. And lastly, guys, we have, uh, I think his name is Joseph. He's uh, the gay guy from Bleach. Now, this guy, surprisingly, guys, to your belief, does actually insane amounts of DPS. It may not seem like that, but he does insane amounts of DPS. So he's a heal unit, as you can see. Hybrid, obviously, so he attacks like both air and ground. Um, very big range, 50 range, line unit. I don't have a single talent on him as of right now, so you can tell that he's kind of bad. He's also level 72, so he's not even maxed out. But he's a unit that can be placed five times. He used to be an eight placement. He was cut down to five placements. I believe his DPS after the changes with All Sync, obviously, because All Sync is currently outperforming Shinigami by a lot is 530,000 DPS. So he is literally the highest like DPS unit aside units that have elemental damage because elemental damage units with Avatar are just too broken and certain other units actually outperform him. But he's one of the strongest like units in the game. Yuta with Shinigami, for example, or rather All Sync outperforms him. But he is really one of the strongest units in the game as of right now. Let me just give you an actual idea of uh, DPS real quick. Um, let me just do some uh, research right here. There is an image somewhere. So I think it does 530k, if I'm not being mistaken. DPS, maybe I'm wrong again. I didn't really do the calculations with the new stuff. I will start uh, doing the calculations later on. But as far as I'm concerned, he has to be definitely in the top five of DPS. I think he only loses to very specific units. So, give me one more second. Searching for it, searching, searching, searching. Come on, man. How many pictures? All right, there we go. So, currently, Avatar Sukuna does 2.2 million DPS. That's uh, with the arrow, obviously, calculated in. Guts does 1.3 million DPS. Um, Albedo, which we talked about earlier, does 1.220 million DPS. And then we have uh, Avatar Itachi, which, as I said, is another unit that's broken because they can spam the Black Flames ability at 883k. So Overlord, wait, why is Overlord shooting? Why is Overlord uh, Saber so strong? 700k, I don't know. But yeah, he should be, he does more DPS than MASH actually. Keep that in mind, just keep that in mind. He does more DPS than MASH, which is a lot, right? So keep that in mind that like his DPS is extremely, extremely high. And yeah, like, the reason why I suggest all of those units because they all come from portals. Now, portals have been nerfed to the ground, they're kind of easy. You might make the case that it might be a little bit hard for new players to actually deal with tier 5s, but, you know, there's people like everywhere in public servers that are joining portals, so I'm pretty sure if you open a portal, people will join you. Obviously, if you have friends, that is an extra added bonus. But yeah, um, as of right now, guys, it's... Uh, all of the units in this update are meta and they're actually really good meta units. And yeah, these are the top five units that I would currently go for if I was a new player or if I skipped uh, playing the game for a couple of days slash week. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you think there is another unit that I must have, I mean, obviously somebody can make the case about Gojo because of time stop, etc. But I think that's a little bit different. I said like, these are the five must have units for like beginner players. They kind of cover everything, um, starting your game out, providing CC, providing damage. So I think this is the most, like, it's a very well-rounded top five. But yeah, anyway, if you have anything else to add or you don't like, hit me up down below in the comments and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.